Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3 and our adventures with Generation 5 heiress to the Dark Moon Pack B and her mate, who's having quite a fine time howling back there at Cliff, as these two go ahead and try to figure out where a mother elk may have potentially left her young. Oh dear. And also where some of the other wolves are currently patrolling along the edges of our territory, which if you guys recall, Cliff's challenge is absolutely not acceptable to him. Oh, uh, well, the mother elk, I'm sorry, mama elk. She didn't even have time to try to rush us. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the, the elk calf back to our pups and then keep a um, an ear out because it seems like the Blood Lake Pack, the renamed version of the Crevice Lake Pack, uh, are actually really too close for comfort to our territory and Cliff owes them at least, I think, two or three territory spots that he wants to steal from them. So we might have a very, very busy day today indeed. But first things first, let's go ahead and we're going to bring this little baby back to all of our pups and unfortunately that's not going to be enough food for cliff and for b to have so we're gonna need to go on a good hunt cliff has got some good food in there but we're gonna need to go on a proper hunt for a potentially a, another elk calf or for another elk this is not going to be enough food for the hungry adult wolves. And our pups are rapidly growing and getting to the point where we're not going to be able to just feed them a little bit of bunny now and then and some lucky rabbit's feet and call it a day. In fact, do we have any food left? Oh, we do not. Just bones that the, the pups have been playing with. <laughs> there you go, little ones, there you go. Might as well go ahead and tuck in. I know you guys are probably hungry. We do have a bunch of bones that the pups have been playing with uh, while they went through all of the food that we had prepared for them while Kaleidoscope was struggling with her illness. And I think that even though you're not supposed to have a favorite, oh no, Lilac, dang it. <laughs> even though you're not supposed to have a favorite. All right, Lilac, were you literally, okay, that's Cliff scent. There's too many scents going everywhere. Okay, this is also, okay, here's, okay, there's Lilac. <laughs> Lilac, what are you doing? I think she was following like a little shrew or something into these beautiful, beautiful blossoming fields. Look at the view here right now. There just must be so many of Bee's namesake flitting about here in the beauty of this meadow. Oh my gosh, it's just like a lot to take in. This is so pretty. Hopefully we're not getting fleas. <laughs> Where there's bees, there's probably other bugs. Oh look, the pups are coming to join us. We should really just have more scenic moments like this where we kind of slow down and just spend time watching the wolf pack as it grows. But it looks like everybody is doing pretty well. Kaleidoscope has gotten over her illness. And as I was saying, we're not supposed to have favorites. But I think that it's a big relief for B that Kaleidoscope survived her illness. Since we did indeed lose one of our little pups already to illness. Alright. Cliff, let's go ahead and go hunting. Where should we go? Where is all the scent coming from? Apparently there's an elk herd and a grizzly bear this way. The mule deer are usually too fast to bother catching lately. Oh, yeah, especially a male mule deer like that. Good, and Cliff is coming with us. So since we need to go and steal some territory and re-establish our own, yeah, this is way too close for Blood Lake. So we're going to go ahead and go straight to the west. That mule deer is going to alert everybody we're coming, so we'll veer away from him a little bit. And then let's reestablish how strong our territory here is supposed to be. I'm staying away from those wicked looking antlers. Those look very dangerous. I actually follow a group on Instagram called Voyager's Wolf Project, and they are a really dedicated group who do their best to go ahead and to try to research wolves, they collar wolves, they actually recently had a successful den transfer that I'll tell you guys about in a little bit, but I am shocked at the number of wolf deaths they report every year from antlers, from running into, ooh, ooh, 
Oh, that's why he was over here. He was following these ladies. All right, are we gonna get lucky? Maybe one of these ones. Come on, go, 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 go. I mean, I was saying I'm not gonna bother chasing the mule deer, but if the mule deer are potentially feeling a little bit tired, can I get a good bite in? Because if she's already, oh, she's already weakened. Come on, Cliff, help me out here. Oh, look at them go. Oh my gosh, it's gotten so beautiful with all of the updates they've done. Not to like break immersion, but come on. The love and the dedication to make this look so fantastic. It's so amazing. All right. And here we are at the little pond. Let's wait a moment. I want to make sure we're not going to have to fight this deer for getting to the right side of the pond. All right, I don't want to lose her. There she is. All right. Look at B go. She's got that perk for being super fast and a young, agile parent. Oh yeah. There was something going on with this doe already that made it so that she was actually weakened. But that means that we found lunch. Good job, Cliff. All right, come on, you two. Come on. Yay, lunch. And Cliff is just digging right in. He's not even hesitating. Oh, look at them pant. Oh my gosh, Bee's going to be so happy to have some nice food. If we can eat as much of it as possible before the crows tuck in on it. Back off, crows. Let's see. And we'll go ahead and give this a howl so that we can mark where the carcass is just in case some of it happens to be left behind later. I love being able to do that. And then we'll continue on to see if we can snag some of the Blood Lake territory before we get back to the kids. Excellent! Oh dear. Really? Already there's a bear coming to try to steal our kill? Cliff, fill your stomach! Become as full as possible. Here, if that's how it's going to be, I'm taking like a chunk. I, I can read the writing on the wall. We're not going to have... Oh man. And now we've got like the blood moon pack just right over there. Ugh. All right, we're going to go around the grizzly bear. It is a very wild world. B has already chased enough of her own bears and bitten enough butts that we have managed to go ahead and get her special lifetime achievement. But according to my notes, we do need to steal a few pieces of this Blood Moon Pack territory. Uh, if they're all like right here, maybe we should go to the north. And maybe that is the idea. Maybe we should just go up to the north instead. But they're very, very close down here to the west, and I'm very worried that if we ignore that spot, it's gonna come back to bite us in a bad way. So let's go south. Yeah, we'll go southeast for a little while, or southwest, pardon me, and we'll just see uh, what we can go ahead and steal. Because I think B is feeling a little bit sassier and more confident. Ooh! Well, there's a whole L card here. We're still feeling pretty good. Wouldn't mind. Ooh. Well, I don't want to try out that new that new challenge or the new the new injury system, really. But since we're already here. Alright, ma'am. You seem to be somewhat lagging behind the others. I just want to give you a little chomp. Okay, you're not injured, so I'm gonna Cliff, there's no point in that one. But maybe this one. Oh, look at him go! It's so beautiful to see. It truly is as the moon is rising and we're running across the wildflowers. Oh, hello, sir. Wait, are you injured? A spike elk? You're new! You're kind of pokey. Oh, no! Cliff has an injury? Oh, dear! You know what? Trying to tackle a spike elk might result in a bit more of an injury, but now this guy's kind of wounded. All right, Cliff, let's, oh, wait. Hey, you. You're being really slow behind everybody else. So I think she's she's actually limping. Oh, we should have followed the, the pack, or we should have followed the herd for a little bit longer. Okay, he's really limping though. 
So I suppose a spike elk would be kind of like your your juveniles. And if we can take him down, this would be a new type of food. Technically, it's all elk, but you know, we could just celebrate the fact that we have like a new a new type of kill at least. All right, let's just follow them for a little bit. There's a few really Where are you going and what are you doing? They're all just confused now, but it's working kind of like zebras could confuse predators who are hunting them. Because once you start getting this confused, you lose track of like who you're attacking. Where's my spike elk? There he is. Oh, it's good to see how they get a little bit more tired, at least for us, as the predators are chasing them. Kaleidoscope still needs to regain her health, but it looks like the pups are doing okay otherwise. I'm a little worried about the spiky parts of this spike elk, but if we can take this guy out, that would be a good bit of food for a while. All right, oh man. Hunting has never felt so exciting with our wolves. Just trying to cover everywhere. I, th I think the spike elk scent is a little different. Oh, then some of the other elk scents. There's a grizzly. Yeah, look, okay, you can smell him. He is different. That's very helpful. Ah! Okay, where's my spike elk? Is that him? No. Cliff! We've got to find him. We've invested way too much into this hunt. Oh, no. Alright, well, if we can take out a kill while we're in here, and he is still with the group. So is this cow elk? She's weak. But we've been working so hard. Oh, dang it. And now Cliff is... Oh, hey, Cliff, wait, Cliff! You've suffered a lot of injuries, Cliff! I think we should reevaluate, Cliff! How injured are you? Oh, dear. Okay, so there's B. He has a major injury in his leg. Can I send him back? But also, like, we have to hunt for our pups. We have a bruised jaw. It will reduce your strength for a few days. You'll heal sa faster if you keep your health above 90. Well, in this one can stink, you risk major injury. Oh, no! <laughs> um, oh, jeez! We're just getting, like, wrecked by these guys. And where's my spike elk? We've done so much work. Oh, gosh, look, there's their territory scent marker. All right, things are getting a lot more complicated now because we also have to juggle the fact that we have started to enter another wolf's territory. Our mate has some major injuries. Oh, he's limping! Cliff, okay. Ah, I need to tell you to go home. Cliff, do not! What are you doing? What are you doing howling here? I mean, okay, we're just gonna invest, like... This is not our territory, we probably shouldn't be howling, but if that's the way you're gonna do it, all right. We're connecting up our bond with one another, I suppose. Can I feed Cliff? Okay, at least we're well fed. I don't wanna lose that kill. All right, let's do a little more howling. I'm gonna let Cliff go ahead and eat this. And then I, I'm tempted to say I should send him back, but I really worry about doing that. Hey, at least we took over a spot of territory. Man, trying to do it all and balance the life of a wild wolf is so hard. Where is our spike elk? I don't want the herd to start running again until I can find him. I wish there was, is that him? No, that's another cow elk. All right, this way, this way, this way. He's usually like at the edges. Where did he go? I bit that elk. She probably didn't appreciate it. All right, is he still deeper in? Let's see, there's a wounded cow elk. Ah! Gosh, dang it. Now they're on the move again. But I feel like, oh geez, and now there's like deer running. Oh, but where did he go? I really want to get him. 
Okay, he's somewhere ahead, so let's see if we can do this. I don't know if we're going to be able to make the hunt worth it. I think we should probably turn around pretty soon. But we're so close. Oh, our health is so bad. Oh, there he is! There he is! Can we make it happen? Come on, stay away all the other elk. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, you guys, I think we're gonna have to go ahead and call it because we're already really injured. Our health is way down. I have a minor injury on the jaw. We'll have slower eating as a result. Cliff has a major injury on his leg. We probably need to know where to call it, but man, I wish I could have gotten that elk. That was so exciting. It was one of the best hunts we've had. Well, except for the part where we didn't actually get the food, but that's okay. <laughs> At least we managed to go and take over a spot of territory. If I pop just the teeniest, tiniest bit south, we can strengthen up this territory too. And we got to experience some of the new thrill that I have personally not yet had of what it is like to hunt and take on injuries and how beautiful everybody is moving now. It just feels so dynamic. Diving through all of the bushes, trying to rice under the starlight and the moonlight as we chase down our prey, trying to balance the demands of pushing away the other predators with the fact that now our pups are going to be getting restless and start trying to wander away again. It is a difficult life for our bee and our cliff, but I think that we will be able to hopefully begin generation six of our wolf quest legacy soon. So if you guys could do please leave a like for these two as they carry on their adventures, dodging bears and raising wolf pups. And if you would like to join us in this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.